I get um, young people involved in activity agreements by um, going out to schools, talking to leavers, whether it's Christmas, just before Christmas or prior to the summer leavers, telling them the opportunities that are available right there, right now, because opportunities constantly change. So it has to be constantly revisited. It can't just be once every so often. Um, I go out, I show them the video of the summer programme to show them, do you know, this is not sitting in a college, this is not coming doing writing, it's not going to be CVs, it's not going to be um, all employability because they get that the next stage. So it's more about engagement, getting the trust and just opening your doors to that young person to say this is all right so that we can get the best from them. A major part of my role is to work with partners in the community to provide services for young people and uh, a major element of that is working with uh, Marjorie Harvey of East Ayrshire Council who has a role in providing activity agreements for young people. Our role there is to provide content for those activity agreements and a major element has been the establishment of the Ayrshire College Summer Programme. Probably around 80% of the students coming onto the Summer Programme have an activity agreement and that involves coming to college on a Tuesday and a Thursday throughout July. So they will have a total of eight days on the Summer Programme. The Summer Programme consists of a wide range of activities based around improving the young people's self-confidence, through social interaction and through introducing them to opportunities that they might not otherwise have experienced. The aim is to provide an engaging, fun, dynamic experience for the young people that by the end of it will have helped to improve their confidence uh, and to have linked them up with the next step in their, their progression. A very high percentage, probably over 80% of the students coming through the summer programme go on to full-time college programmes, either in widening access or in supported learning, with a, a reasonable percentage also going straight on to level four and level five NC programmes. Another area where activity agreements have, have worked very well for the college and for the individuals themselves is where we've included activity agreements in the delivery of our community programmes. A particularly good example is the work that we do with our partners, the Council of Voluntary Organisations. Uh, as part of activity agreements, young people attend uh, work placement at WG13, which is a social enterprise where it has a, a, a cafe, restaurant and a events room where there's weddings, conferences, uh, and the young people have a uh, 26 weeks where they'll do the work placements two days a week at WG13 and one day a week they'll attend college uh, and they will get the, an employability award from their attendance on, on the course. And I got involved in the summer programme because Marjorie came to my school and talked about the summer programme and I just was interested and decided to do it. Uh, it helped with my confidence a lot because I was meeting new people and doing new things that I hadn't done before. I just went on trips in places I'd never been. We went to Sky Academy and did a report that I'd never done before. I'm doing 24-7 plus. It's a course that helps with life skills and developing different qualities and skills that you'll need. It has helped me build my confidence. Uh, the summer programme helped me meet my lecturers. It made going in 24-7 plus easier. <laughs> I would recommend the summer programme to anyone that's interested in learning new stuff and meeting new people. My job is, oh, it is so enjoyable seeing the young people actually coming from behind that door where they've been locked behind for two years where they've put themselves in it and they're not going to come out and actually been able to talk and enjoy and smile and actually just seeing them growing is oh, that makes my job nothing better than seeing a young person um, flourish and coming back and saying thanks 